freaking... I, I still have that Event Sevenfold song in my head. I'm going to go listen to it after I do it. Sup, sup, sup. I'm reading for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Here's Omega's Broken Afterlife versus Heroes. Will he have a 3-3 three, three win on Subscriber Showcase? And remember, if you're, while you're watching this, if you want to be featured on Subscriber Showcase, Subscriber Showcase at gmail.com. Send us your clips. Send us your replays. Send us whatever. And I'll commentate over it if you like. You could send a uh, picture on DN. That, that works fine too. And I could put it in Dead Pro and do the commentary for you that way. And any details you want, put it in the email so we have it. It comes right to my phone. Now, his opponent is playing what I call Fun Heroes. Why is it really called Fun Heroes? It's a Jaden Yuki of Heroes. And it's awesome to see because we haven't seen this in so long. I mean, the the... Only time we've ever seen this is almost 10 years ago, which is kind of scary. But Omega's just going to set up a lot of defense. He's setting up for that Chaos Necromancer. Gains 300 for every monster in the grave. So once there's 10 monsters, you got a 3,000 beat stick that's going to come swinging out. And look at the mass change on the Wild Heart to a Mass Hero Diane. And Mass Hero Diane is going to attack and allow the Mass Hero player to take a search. And this, well... This is going to get hilarious. Here comes the Wild Heart. The Wild Heart's going to attack the Mass Dragon. The Mass Dragon's going to get another one. And I believe if it... Put, it I, I thought his opponent was going to like overextend and play another Mass Change. Um, go figure. But he goes for that wind-up Zen Mains. Omega goes for that wind-up Zen Mains. Very smart right there. Can help him destroy back row and stuff and allow him to just go it. But his opponent has Blade Edge! People, we have seen Blade Edge! What day in Yu-Gi-Oh! is this that we see Blade Edge? Omega's going to take out this right here because it's got the highest stats. And that Blade Edge, though. That Blade Edge. Like, like the what-the-fuck factor on Blade Edge is so strong. I, I, I'm at a loss for words right now. And whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just cheat? No, no, no. Relax. He's got the Necromancer. That Neos. Neos and Blade, <laughs> Blade Edge. What am I compensating anymore? I don't know. Here comes the Nova Summoner. This is hilarious. I, I love you, Omega, for, for, making me, for making me watch this and commentate over I love this shit. This shit is amazing. But he brings out the Chaos Necromancer and runs over that Blade Edge. He says, no Blade Edge for you. I just had a crazy thought. Blade Edge plus Neos would equal a Drago sack in Heroes, which is kind of fucking scary on its own. I don't mean to use the F word, I'm just <laughs> at a loss of words. But he's going to get another one, and that thing's at 3,000 now! The Book of Moon, where's your Book of Moon, boy? Where's your shield and sword? <laughs> this is hilarious! Oh my god, here comes a second Chaos Necromancer for Uber wins. For days, Omega, what are you doing? You are too OP! Too OP for words! I am loving this, I hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as I am. I get a kick out of this shit. He's going to chain that MST and say, screw your back row, but does not hit the Mirror Force, which is fine, because he's got that Book of Life. But he's going to set a card, and he's going to attack. His opponent's going to Mirror Force. <laughs> Necromancers. Oh, wait, he can't. Uh, I'm an idiot. He can't Book of Life. I thought it was a zombie. It's not. Hmm. Pardon me. Q, 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 Q status. Crying in a corner deeply. But it's okay. Omega's got another strategy called the King of the Soul Servants after It's called Afterlife. Brought to this afterlife. <laughs> I, I I can't remember the words um to the event seven full song, but this opponent's gonna take six hundred off that lady in white. You should not attack a lady. It's very mean of you. But he's gonna play the book of life on Skull Servant and banish out Neos because God knows what his opponent was gonna do with that Neos. That that Neos is scary, man. I'm not joking, that Neos is fucking scary. <laughs> that Neos came out and tried to jack shit up. <laughs> Oh, Sparkman attacks into another lady. How many times I tell you not to attack your grandmas? That's not cool, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the commentary. I'm not. I hope I'm not being annoying with it. I just try to make it funny. He goes for the ultimate defense: Slacker Magician and Zen Mains. You cannot get past this with this kind of heroes. And I, I'm just like kind of wondering: Is this all? Fu oh my God! It is all fusions. I I love Subscriber Showcase so much. I love it. It's like my favorite thing in the world right now, um, because you never know. What the hell you will end up seeing on Subscriber Showcase. I think that's part of the excitement and why um, you guys do tune in to it. And, oh my, here comes the MST on the back row. Hits that book of life. Did not hit the mirror force. If his opponent attacks, everything's going, man. I'm loving this. But he's just waiting for that, you know, that fusion setup. It's going to set that fusion recovery. It's going to get MST. I mean, I, I'm just curious, where the hell... Oh, there's the polymerization. Sakuratsu Armor, guys. 
best card ever. If Mirror Forest ever goes away, $15 card. <laughs> it was at one point, which is the scariest thing in the world. I mean, one thing I feel Omega could have done is put Zen Mains into attack mode and just start swinging. I understand why. I don't blame you. You know, you want to get to that advantage point. It's fine. I've seen your stuff before. It's hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Why go after the back row is my question when you should have just waited for the black ship and then hit it before it could activate its effect, but there goes logic. So, that Spark Man is now down. The Spark is gone, but the E-Call comes. And he's going to sack two for that Blade Edge. That Blade Edge going to try to fuck shit up, and it does. It messes that Howling Insect up. Oh, my Lord. I cannot <laughs> tell you how freaking excited I am. I think Omega at this point was like, damn it, I should have set the Mirror Force, but screw it. That Zen mains his opponent could have played the Cylinder for 15 burn, which would have been hilarious, honestly. But I think his opponent's trying to save that for an epic win. This duel is amazing. You should have... Okay. His opponent should have put Lady Heat in attack mode, and then just put these guys in attack mode too for the hell of it. Um, we'll just spark man. And then just been like, you know what? Screw it. Oh, wait. What am I saying? Because that would have been stupid. He's not playing Exceeds. I was thinking he could just burn, but then I realized that black shit fucking too much shit up. It is messing everything up. I don't mean to keep dropping the F bomb. I am at a loss for words. That 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 magic cylinder bandage. <laughs> I love it. I love subscribing to it so much. You guys give me like the craziest things to watch, and I love it because it's so different and it's so exciting. Because I never know what to expect. Oh, it's a point finally gets that polymerization. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna? Please tell me we're gonna see like thunder and thunder giants. I was about to say Thunder and Giants. Here comes the polymerization. But he goes for an Overmaster QQ. We've seen that already. I wanted to see the Thunder Giant. Man, I want to see Thunder Giant come out. Just shit up. It ain't happening today. It ain't, it ain't happening. Maybe next week. <laughs> Here comes the Dark Hole. Wipe the board. Set the Lady in White. Very smart. Because now your opponent is going to have a hard time setting up fusions. And he knows his opponent's playing Magic Cylinder. So he's got to be very careful. But at the same time, he can't be like too too afraid of going into it. But he's gonna banish out that that ocean because for some reason you can banish an ocean from the from the world now. Oh my God, I'm so bad today. I'm I'm sorry. The commentary, you guys are probably like, oh, really? God, the crazy. All right. So his opponent's gonna set a dust tornado, and if Omega only knew that it was counter counter, but I don't blame you for not attacking. I really don't. Because at this point, you're just like, I gotta wait for that MST or something. Here comes Miracle Fusion for the Plasma. Wait, 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 wait. What? Plasma Vice? <laughs> plasma Vice? <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. I've, honestly, in all my years of this card game, that is one of the only three times, this is the third time, I've ever seen this thing freaking summoned. The third time I forgot you can miracle fusion it I'm not joking that is the third time I've seen that pop up that's hilarious it gives me actually a very evil idea uh, very evil evil idea hero ghost tricks anyone <laughs> plasma bias put everything face down that direwolf though no, man that direwolf get that thing off the field because that thing was messing shit up Oh, but he tops like the fusion recovery. He's gonna get the polymerization and that burning lady. But doesn't summon anything. I guess he wanted to wait. Guess he wanted to wait. Here comes the hand destruction from Omega. Here comes another hand destruction with the dust tornado. Are you trying to negate, sir? I, I get it's a trap, but no, it does not negate. I guess he was trying to save his polymerization. Here comes oh the one shot, the chaos necromancer for game. Omega, that was freaking amazing. You, sir. I, I, I know a lot of people who are more meta-based would say, well, that bored me because I wasn't meta-based. It's more casual, and honestly, it was fun as hell to watch. I got such a kick out of it. In all my years of Yu-Gi-Oh!, I've never seen Plasma Vice been summoned, like, only two times prior, so thank you for that experience. I just, I, I wanted to heart, you know, just heartly very openly say that because it's hilarious i hope you guys enjoyed the video by the way if you did make sure to like comment rate subscribe if you're new to the channel only if you for the subscribing part and uh share the video finally 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 if you want to be on subscriber showcase at subscriber showcase at gmail.com 
which is subscriber showcase at gmail.com. There'll be a link always in the description or always in the comments. Or you can just always ask me if you guys have a deck request or anything else, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching this crazy freaking subscriber showcase. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.